Morning everyone, Ed Jeanette here and beautiful Isle of Hope. It is um, Wednesday uh, the 18th and I wanted to do a video explaining something that happened that is going to affect all of us. That, um, it's actually really positive but amongst all the craziness going on with the coronavirus you probably didn't catch it but um, the uh, Federal Reserve did um, three things this week. Uh, they uh, cut the Fed, Fed funds rate to zero, they removed the reserve requirements for banks, and they, um, uh, they're they instituting a buyback program. I'm reading some notes here, so don't forget what I'm, what I'm talking about here. But the Fed funds rate, that is the short-term rate that institutions can borrow money from the Fed. Uh, that is a major uh, factor in um, things that we buy. Uh, uh, mortgage rates, auto loans, leases, if you've ever leased a car, if you've ever bought a car using a, using a bank loan, adjustable rate mortgages, student loans, they're all in some way or another affected by the Fed funds rate. And now that that's at zero, interest rates should go down, which is going to save us a ton of money. Um, that's one thing. The second thing is um, they re removed the reserve requirements for banks, so that means that the banks can actually uh, lend more money and make it easier and cheaper for us to borrow money, uh, which is, again, that's great. Um, they also, the Federal Reserve, uh, they did a buyback program, which means the Federal Reserve went to banks and institutions and bought um, treasury bonds and uh, mortgage-backed securities from them, which means that uh, they are giving the banks and institutions more money to lend by taking those uh, instruments that they had, the debt instruments, off of their books, which means that the um, uh, easiest way for me to explain it to you is if, if you lent me $100, you wouldn't have $100 in your pocket anymore. I would have it, I'd spend it, do whatever with it, but then I'd have to pay you back over the course of time, give you an interest rate. Um, well, what the Fed's done is they've come to you and said, hey, give us that the, the, the note that you had with Ed for the $100 plus the interest, and we'll give you $105 for that. Um, well, that gives the bank cash again to go out and lend more money. Um, and then I have to pay back the loan, but the Fed, Federal Reserve Board is actually holding what's called the paper. Some of this can be a little confusing and, oh my gosh, it drives me crazy watching the news, so don't watch it. Um, it's all a matter of perspective. Uh, long term, even in medium term, this is going to be fantastic. Um, this is going to be really, really good for, for everything once we get over this hump with the coronavirus. And it's just really a matter of perspective. I mean, if you focus on the crappy things going on, guess what? You're going to see crappy stuff. Um, if you focus on the good things that are going on, and this is a really good thing. Um, I listened to something this morning that they said they, they, uh, they have a vaccine that they've tested in people. Um, but again. Everybody's feeling so helpless right now, and uh, I realized that there was something that I could do to help, and I'm excited to be here. Not even knowing that this virus was out there, and which we then identified it as being a cause of infection in China in January. To have any vaccine that we can actually initiate a clinical trial in about two months is unprecedented. And, you know, if you're focused on the crappy stuff, you're going to see crappy stuff. If you focus on the good stuff and get ready for this, because this is going to be something that when this filters through the system, uh, the, the interest rate cuts, uh, we're going to see mortgage rates lower than they've ever been. And they're lower than they've ever been right now. I remember my parents bought a bought a house in the, in the early 80s, and this was the earliest thing I can remember about them buying a house, and they paid 16% uh, on their mortgage. 16%, that's unbelievable. I, I, I 16%, that's, that's like, a, that's a, like a, a, a loan shark credit card today. Uh, today, rates are three and a half, four um, percent. I'm, I'm predicting that they're gonna go below three. Um, and they did, they went below three, like, I think in January. Uh, these are mortgage rates. Um, I'm going to put a slide up, and again, this is all a matter of perspective. Um, and the perspective is that 16%, a mortgage payment on $250,000, okay, this is a $250,000 mortgage, your interest payment, or your mortgage payment at 16% is $3,361, okay? At 3%, that same mortgage is $1,054, so that's $1,300 in savings. No, what am I saying? That's $2,300 in savings, just on interest. Yeah, $2,300 in savings and interest. So the interest rates are a huge deal because, I mean, 
it's twenty three hundred bucks in interest. You're just setting that money on fire uh, for no reason other than the privilege of borrowing the money. So either you can wait till the interest rates go back to sixteen percent or eight percent or nine percent or seven percent, or right now you can probably lock in at three and a half. Um, a couple three weeks ago they were below three. Um, but yeah, whatever it is, do it. Um, don't don't get caught up with this all this hysteria and all the craziness because it's not um, it's not going to last. I mean, it's not. And and I personally think that it's a little overblown. I mean, it's a it's a crappy thing we're going through. But um, the media does not get paid to sell us happy stuff. They get paid to be Debbie Downers, and um, I'm not buying into it. So um, you know, take care, social distance, wash your hands, stuff I've always do. I mean, I don't social distance, but um, go, uh, we are now. Um, sorry the way I'm dressed. I worked out early this morning and um, been in the office since, I don't know, 5.30, so um, 6 o'clock. So anyway, everybody have a great day. Make it a great day, as I always say. Um, if you have any questions about this stuff, interest rates, your mortgages. Oh, if your mortgage, check your mortgage. If your mortgage, it, it, you, the interest rate you're paying is 45 4%. You got your mortgage two, three, four years ago. Um, if yeah, you might want to look at it and consider uh, refinancing. Uh, refinancing will save you a bunch of money because if again, let's look at those numbers. If if you um, if you're at five percent and it goes down to three, uh, you're going to save three hundred bucks a month. Five per, five percent, five four and a half percent down to three, you're going to save um, uh, three hundred dollars a month. So you might want to look at refinancing. So anyway, um, hope this was helpful and um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and um, go support the local restaurants uh, and um, businesses here in Sanflight. Have a great day. Thanks.